All right, guys, so we're going to talk about the distributive property a little bit more. And at the top, you can see we just put a little note that said the distributive property lets you multiply a sum by first multiplying each add-in separately and then adding the products together. So let's try it. Are these two equal? Let's look at the right side first. And we have 5 times 2, which just gets us 10, plus 5 times 3, which is 15. 10 plus 15 is 25. On the left side, we're going to use the distributive property and multiply 5 times 2, then 5 times 3. So 5 times 2 gets us 10 plus 5 times 3 is 15, and 10 plus 15 gets us 25. So in the end, we figure out that these two are equal. So let's practice. We have 6 on the outside of our parentheses, and then we have 3 plus 2 on the inside. So we're going to distribute our 6 to our 3 and then to our 2. So we have 6 times 3 plus 6 times 2. 6 times 3 is 18 plus 6 times 2 is 12. So our final answer should be 30. Then our second one, we have 5 times 4 plus 5 times 3. So we have 5 times 4 is 20, 5 times 3 is 15, and our final answer is 35. Now for subtraction problems, we follow the same method. So we'll distribute 2 to 8, and then 2 times 5. So 2 times 8, 2 times 5. The difference is going to be that our final answer will have a subtraction sign. So we have 2 times 8 is 16 minus 2 times 5 is 10. And then 16 minus 10 gives us 6. Then for the second, we have 4 times 8. And 4 times 6, we see it's a subtraction sign. So we have 4 times 8 minus 4 times 6. And we have 32 minus 24, which gives us 8. Go ahead and pause this video. Try these four on your own. And then play the video to check your answers. Let's try and go the other way. So as you can see in the first one, we have 4 times 4 plus 4 times 2. We're going to look and see which number is multiplied in both. And you can see that 4 and 4 are multiplied in each of my parentheses. So 4 should be on the outside. And then inside, we should have our other two numbers, 4 and 2. This is what we multiplied by when we distribute it. And then in between should be our sign addition. Go ahead and try the next two and then make up your own problem. And then play the video to check your answers.